Hey guys, welcome back to Engineering Education. For this next problem, we have our first SR latch problem. And this circuit here is a RAM cell circuit. So that means that it is a binary cell used to store information. So for those of you who don't know, RAM stands for Random Access Memory. And this SR latch here can remember a bit value that you, I guess you can say, program into it. And here, the typical cell takes in three inputs. We have the data input, we have the select input, and we have the read-write uh, input. And it outputs here through this output AND gate. And so the output is going to be a 1 or a 0. And for this video, we are going to solve four different problems. Uh, so we are going to set these three inputs to various states, uh, either 1 or 0. And we are going to determine what the output Q is of this SR latch and the output of this, uh, this AND gate here as well. So as always, guys, pause the video, give it a shot, and we'll go over the answer in a bit. So for this first problem, uh, we can see that the input is set to 1. So we can just label that as 1 here on the left-hand side. And the select bit is also set to 1. And then here we have the read-write bit also set to 1. So everything is 1. And just to explain a little bit about how this circuit works, um, so this is, like I said, a binary cell that's supposed to store just one bit of information. So if you wanted to store a series of um, bits for, let's say, an image, uh, you would get a bunch of these um, parallel together. And so here, we have the select bit. So when the select bit goes high, um, it means that memory operations can now be performed on this this particular cell. So the select bit essentially just gives access to the cell for either reading or writing. The read-write bit, um, as you can expect, is for reading and writing to the cell. Uh, this bit is usually tied to some sort of system clock um, in the system. And whenever the input is high, we are writing to the um, we are writing to the SR latch, and when the input is low, we are reading a stored value of the SR latch. So the thing to keep in mind is that um, an SR latch can save information. So if we go to the FE handbook, where we have these flip-flops, we have the, um, the SR latch truth table here. And here we have when S, which stands for set, is 0 and R, which stands for reset, is 1, the output is 0 or it's, um, it's reset. And when S is 1 and R is 0, the output is 1 or it's set. And the two special cases occur when you have 0, 0, and that's where the, the storage comes from. If the value was 0 before, then you get a S equals 0, R equals 0 input into the SR latch, then the value is not going to change and it's going to remain 0. And same uh, the other way around, if your input before was a 1, it's going to stay a 1 and not, not change. And when they're both 1, this is a case that we avoid. Um, it's an invalid case that um, doesn't mean anything. If in a practical application, the SR latch would get confused and kind of have this race condition and choose an output either 1 or 0 at random. So going back to our circuit here, we have um, the read-write bit set to 1, meaning that we are going to write 
to this SR latch. And lastly, we have the data input, um, which it's the, the data that we want to write into the SR um, latch itself. So if we can start here at the bottom with read-write. Read-write is a one, so going over to the right, it gets inverted into a zero. And right away we know that the output is gonna be zero um, because an AND gate, in order for the output to be one, um, all inputs to that AND gate have to be one. And so right away, uh, the output will be zero and we can write that down. So for this first part, the output is zero. But let's find out what Q is. So for Q, we have the select bit, which is one. So that's one here. And it that select bit also goes to this other AND gate here on the bottom, which is a one. For the input data, the input is a one. When you invert it, you get zero. And the read and write is a one. So this is a one. This is a one. And that's a one. Okay. So looking at the reset portion of the uh, SR latch input, we have a zero here on the AND gate. So that output's going to be zero. Okay, and next we have on the set, they're all ones, so we set this to one. And when we look at our chart, we have set is equal to one, reset is equal to zero. Therefore, if we go back to our chart, corresponds to this one right here, S is equal to one, R is equal to zero, the output is going to be one. So going back, there it is. So now Q is going to be 1. So for this first problem, Q is 1, and the output is 0. For the second one, we're going to go ahead and erase these 1s and zeros, and we're going to start all over again. Okay, erase every single one. We're going to do this three more times. Okay, and we're doing this four times to prove a point here. So for the first one, intuitively, what did we do? We said that the input was one, meaning there is data at the input. And the read-write was set to one, meaning that we are we want to write the input data into the SR latch whenever it's selected. So we selected what cell we want to write to. Um, we gave the command to write and the data to write. And so now that value is stored in the SR latch as Q. So keeping that Q is equal to one in mind, uh, step two, what it's doing is we are looking to read the value that we wrote. So the value that we wrote in the previous step is one, and we have the same select. So we are selecting the same cell to read. We have the input as one, and we have the read write bit now is zero, meaning that we are in uh, reading mode. So the thing about this cell is that you can't read and write at the same time. It's either one or the other. And so when the read-write bit is zero, the output here is one. Let's see, select is a one. And then select as before. Goes high on each of the uh, AND gate inputs to the SR latch. The read-write becomes zero on both ends. Uh, the data input pin goes from one to zero when it gets inverted. 
and it stays one on the first, on the topmost AND gate. So here, what do we get? So on the top input AND gate, we have a zero, so the output stays zero, or becomes zero. And on the bottom AND gate, we have two zeros on there on its input, so that's also zero. And here is the magic, right? So we have s is equal to zero, r is equal to zero, so that means no change, and q remains the same. So q was once in the previous step equal to one, it remains equal to one. Okay, so now q is equal to one, and all three inputs to this output and gate are all one now, so the output then becomes one. And we just read in the value from this SR latch. And notice here that the, the input pin doesn't really matter, all right? So if we were to change this input pin to zero, then this would get inverted to one, and this one here at the top would become a zero, and we would still have s is equal to zero, r is equal to zero, which would still mean q is equal to one. So whether or not there's data in the input or not doesn't really matter whenever we are in read mode, because we don't care about that data uh, when we're reading in we just care about what's stored inside the SR latch. For the third step, let's um, erase what we have here. Let's erase all these ones and zeros. And hopefully you guys can see and get an intuition for this circuit and why it's so powerful. So now we set the, uh, the input pin to zero. The select stays high. And now we are writing again. OK, but this time, just looking at line three here, what are we trying to do? We are trying to write the value zero to this selected cell. And so on the bottom here, we'll start with read write again. Um, going over to the right, we invert the one, meaning that now the output's going to be zero. So you're going to write down that the output is zero. And going over to the left, we have now enabled one inputs on these input AND gates. Same with the select. So select over to the right becomes a one on this output AND gate. And on the input AND gates, they're also one. And now because the data input is zero, we can invert it. And it becomes a one on the bottom and a zero on top. So then set becomes zero, and now reset becomes one. So now the value has now changed, right? So when s is equal to zero and r is equal to one, we are in a reset um, command here on the SR latch, meaning that q is now zero. Okay, so q is zero. And essentially what we did was we wrote to the SR latch a zero command. And the last step here is to see if we can read back in the new value that we wrote of zero. So once more, the last time, we will erase these ones and zeros. And we will set the input pin to one, the select pin to one, 
and the read write to zero. So now we want to read in the last value that we stored. So let's see, read write gets inverted, goes to one on the left hand side, these become zero. And because they're zero, doesn't really matter what the other two inputs to the AND gates are. R and S are going to be zero, meaning no change, meaning Q is going to take on the last value, which was zero. So the last value stored in this SR latch was zero. It's going to remain zero. And just like that, Q is equal to zero, and the output is equal to zero. So that's how the, the RAM cell circuit works. So the, the main takeaways for um, this RAM cell circuit is one, it is a binary cell and it stores only one bit of information. If you want to store you know, a bunch of bits, you need a bunch of these circuits in, in parallel and reading and writing all at the same time. When the read write is one, so let me write that down. Re when read write is one, you are in write mode, um, and the value placed into the cell, um, so into the SR latch here, depends solely on the state of the input line. So when write is one, and th this this assumes that we are selecting the um, the SR latch. If we're in write mode, then the value that we write is based solely on the data input. So if data input is one, then SR latch stores a one. If it's zero, it stores a zero. And that's the value that it remembers. The other takeaway is that you can't read and write at the same time. Um, it's either one or the other. When you are in reading mode, if we erase this, when you are in reading mode, you have a zero here and it automatically sets the set and reset to zero. And so you automatically take the last value um, that was stored into the SR latch and there's no writing. And the one, the last thing uh, that we didn't really cover is the select bit. So for this problem, the select bit was always high. And let's see what happens when the select bit is zero. When the select bit is zero, the output is going to be zero. And we also have zeros here. So the SR latch is going to be zero. So it's not selected, it's not enabled, it's not being used at all. Okay, so the SR latch will keep its last state and it will output nothing. So that's it. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video on the binary cell for memory storage. Um, leave me a comment below if you did. And until then, enjoy engineering.